guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 23 of Undead Unlocks. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I figured. But of course, like, Fuko is definitely going to remember those, those memories. <laughs> I can't. I'm just wearing the damn bunny costume. Like, <laughs> you're supposed to be so... <laughs> And you come in as the energizer bunny. <laughs> oh, <I can't.
you would think that, you know, due to the fact is that, you know, she's already caught up on Andy and his memories and shit, both her and, <laughs> and him would have been awakened at least by this moment. Damn. Of course, something happened. Something, something always happens. I think I just saw blood. Be cautious of that. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, being a kid and seeing all that. Boo-boo, that ain't the story. That's fucking life. Oh. No, but you, you phased through him. So now you don't exist? That's fucked up. No, you, you have a gift. You have to use it.
how are you going to contact them if nobody knows that you exist? Which we know that's going to happen because he's only able to talk to certain people. That's so sad. During that time when he was missing, she had to go crazy. Any mom would go crazy about missing their child. <laughs> oh Well, of course he plays right through him, duh. Mm -hmm. Oh fucking say that shit. Oh my god. How the fuck you gonna say that and we only got one episode left too? It's the only thing that you can do, and it's a smart thing to do, too. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Ти свои. <laughs> oh. smart So you told me how he just going to die like that? Hold up. T time the fuck out. Hold on, wait. Because, I mean, he, he already lost one arm so many weeks ago. He loses his other arm. He probably bleeding out of that arm. And he just going to die. I, I mean, and I get it because it makes the most sense. Like, his episode, today is his episode. He gets his backstory finally on how he found the pen and everything. And then, you know, he becomes, like, invisible towards everyone, including his mom. Like, of course, as I said, his mom definitely went batshit crazy. When it's moms coming with kids and they're in just how much that moms care about their kids. Moms don't fucking play about they mother effing kids, they will go to the ends of the mother effing earth to find their child if their kid is missing. Even if they are, they know in their heart possibly that the child is no longer here, he, they will literally do anything to find their kid. But for it to abruptly end like that, that's a little messed up. And it does make me wonder how the hell this is all going to wrap up in next week's finale and such. But I'm glad Annie and Fuku are both up. I'm able, I'm also happy that they were able to get that situation done. The memories that these two will have, I mean, mm, goodbye. I can't with them. <laughs> I, 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 just shoot it. The fact that he rolled into a damn little ball. Oh.
Yes, but you two see t fucking differently since day one. Why would they want to work with you? Forget about that. Apparently not. But then she'll stay dead, and what are you going to do about it? with Autumn. Okay. The fact is that Rip wants to do it for a completely different reason, specifically for a person. It is... Is nuts, but I can see why. Because, of course, whoever this person is, girl-wise, he really cares for her. Now, once again, we only have one episode left. My biggest issue was how the fuck are you going to tie up everything and ish. And then what the fuck are you going to potentially show, like, if this show potentially got, like, another season and such. Of course, this is this could end any fucking way. Either side winning, either side losing and such. But to, once again, get focused on a character that I really wanted to know more about. Of course, he has a sad, tragic past, of course, because pretty much almost like everybody in this cast has sad, tragic as fuck past. And you just feel super duper bad for them and such. But I, I don't know. I don't know how this could go. I mean, because it's like, there, there's a point where using the pen, there has to be a limit on how much you can do in, in seeing the future. I don't know that, uh, how the fuck that could be. But in some way, shape, or form, I mean, come on now. There's got to be, you know, always some, eh, eh, like you can't do this because eh, eh, and blah, 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 and such. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that next week. But no, this episode was very enjoyable and such. I mean... I hate the fact that we are going to be into the finale next week because it feels like this show just really started and such. So, I mean, if it's like, if next week they say, yeah, it's going to get another season, that's fine. If they want to wait a little while, that's fine too. But, you know, hey, just got to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 23 of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single night. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.